hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new in this channel welcome if you are old subscribers thank you so much for watching my video so guys if you have not subscribed to this channel please i will appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you get notified so in today's class we'll be making this sleeve you see on the screen so without wasting of time let's get started so guys welcome back with me here i have my door face and my sleeve pattern this is my basic sleeve pattern so guys i will go ahead to fold my uh, uh, my door face into two like this please note that there is no uh, allowance just your normal basic sleeve okay so now i place the pattern on top like this so from the center front of the pattern which is the unfold part i mark six inches like i mark six inches before i placed my pattern on it so this is me trying to pin my pattern paper to the main fabric and pin it so that it can stay well so so like I said, from there I mark six inches like this. You can see me marking it now. You can see how I am, what I'm trying to say. So after that now guys, from the top like this, I will just use, from this top here, I will come up by four inches. Okay. Then I will mark it with my, with my shock. Then after shocking, this shock, please. I'm sorry for using white shock. You can hardly see what I drew here, but please just listen to what I'm saying. You will still get it. So now I marked it. So I will just go ahead to use a straight ruler to first of all connect this line straight like this. I'll just cut it like this. Then after that, from this four inches, I will just connect. A curve to meet that sleeve sleeve pattern or this basic sleeve like this so guys that is how it comes out so now from there the next step I will be doing for this pattern I use 13 inches for the normal sleeve sleeve pattern I use 13 inches for the length okay then I use 6 inches from the center front of the sleeve down I use six inches by from the top of the sleeve I mark four inches upward like this okay so now guys that is it and I connected my lines to the ham hole area like so so after that now the next step I will be taking is just to connect from this ham hole straight down like this I'll just connect it straight like this. Just so you see me do. Please note that don't add any seam allowance to this sleeve pattern. Because I added allowance to it and it's too big. So I removed, I did some part out. So please, I will advise not to add any seam allowance to your pattern. Just use your normal measurement. Don't add seam allowance. Okay, so this is me cutting out this pattern. So I will just trace the. I'm using this length here. So I will just follow the pattern paper like this, the length of the pattern paper like this. I will just cut it like so. Okay. So guys, after cutting now, I will not the center like this, okay? Then after that now, remove my pattern. I will remove out my pin. Then I will take my pattern out. So now, this is just the door face. Then the next step is to mark from there, from the starting point now. I will mark it down to about 10 inches. This totally depends on you. You can come up as low as 
8 inches or 9 inches okay it just depends on how you want it so i want mine to be longer at this side so if you want it short you can come up by 8 or 6 then after that i'll connect it to meet the end part like so that's the way you see me connecting like this like i said if you don't want yours too long at this sector like so come up a bit and connect it to the edge of the sleeve length so guys after connecting i will just use my my i will just cut it i'll use my scissors now to just trace out what i connect so i will trace it out like so So after cutting, this is how it looks like, guys. So guys, now I will be using this one now to cut out the remaining part. I will use this door face as a lining as well. So I'm cutting extra theory. So guys, I have cut out the remaining ones. So here is my color stay. I will just go ahead to attach my color stay on the the lining of this sleeve just the lining not the main fabric so guys here it comes i have attached my color stay on the lining please take note not the main fabric just the lining okay so now i attach it for the two sleeve then i will bring out my my crinoline line and place it like so and also bring out my regiony boning like this please before you will attach the boning you will at least give about 0.75 or one inches be above the hem parts okay so that you can have enough part to stitch your main fabric so guys like i said i have done so i have attached my crillo line and also attached my Regine bony on top of the quillo line so you can see that I have some space for my stitching allowance so now this is the main fabric here so I will now place it right side meeting right side like this then after placing right side meeting right side ensure that it's right side facing right side guys so now after that I will just take it to my sewing machine and run in stitch by half an inch it's from the start to the end so guys here it comes i have attached it and i have turned it over i've went ahead to iron it as well you can see there is a space there for my bony to stay properly so guys the next step to do is to just bring the 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 right sides together again okay i'll just place the two right sides together i'll fold it this way i'll fold it this way okay right side meeting right side so i will just join it at this side like this by half an inch guys the reason why i'm doing this is just to ensure that we have a neat finishing at the side there so guys this is what i'm trying to say now i've sewed it and i've folded it inside you can see that that joining part is very neat and is beautiful now guys the next step is just to take it to your sewing machine and fold it or uh, plant it and sew and that will be the end of this tutorial if you have if you find this video interesting give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe please hit on the subscribe button also turn on the notification bell and for more video like this thanks for watching bye to see you in my next one